Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to episode 20 of the Let's Play series here on Python's Realm. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. I apologize for the lacking of uploads for a few days. I did have to take a little bit of a mental break for just a few days, but we're back my friends and I'm very, very excited to get right back into the swing of things my friends. We're on episode 20 dudes, holy poop. Wow, we have come a long way in this series, haven't we? We're in hard mode, early hard mode. We've got some pretty decent weaponry going on here. Titanium sword, chain guillotines, onyx blaster, dart rifle, titanium repeater with unreal on it. Woo! That's a lot of good stuff. So what's the plans for today's episode? I thought going down to the underground hollow might actually be a pretty cool idea because we still need to find, I think it's called the gelatin crystal thingamadoo hicker. Yes, we need to try and find one of those bad boys so then we can like summon in queen slime on our own terms. So that should be a pretty fun thing to go ahead and uh, find, hopefully. I, don't, I, I really hope it's not too rare because otherwise they'll get kind of... Oh. It's literally there. There's one there. <laughs> wow. That was incredibly difficult, guys. So maybe we go ahead and see if we can't get ourselves a bunch of these bad boys. So we can make ourselves a good supply of the crystal darts, you know? Could be a cool idea, right? So this is only a tiny, tiny amount of the hallow. What the devil? There's a freaking geyser there. Well, that isn't very cool, is it? I ain't having that. All right, come on. Find some more hallow. There's more above us. Like, way more above us, in fact. Oh, yeah. Crystal shards galore, ladies and gentlemen. Still just the one gelatin crystal for now. Maybe I just got incredibly lucky to find that bad boy, huh? I mean, it's perfectly possible. Oh, hello there, buddy. All right, let's see what we can do with the chain guillotine, sir. Come on, Wormy. Oh, I be... Oh, he's dead. Huh, that was easy. These chain guillotines are kind of nice, man. Huh. I wonder if they have a higher damage per second output than the anchor does. I mean, the fact that this is, this is fully auto and can shoot out multiple times is rather kind of cool, actually. What the? There was a geyser at the bottom there. What the devil is up with that? Hey, buddy, how about a quiver? No? Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> it would have been so cool if I was able to, like, call when I was going to get something again. Whoa! That guy just... Oh, it's Tim! Hey, Tim! How you doing? Look at all the gold we're getting. Holy poop! Oh! Mandible Calavera. A lot of you guys are saying that it was the name of a skeleton merchant. And there he is! Hey! hey. All right, Budski, what have you got for me today? The Format C Yo-Yo. Yes. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, take out the trash. There we are. We've got a yo-yo glove, of course. Hey, we can make the yo-yo bag. Oh, dude. Oh, man. It has been an age since I've had a yo-yo bag and gone for any kind of yo-yo layout. Oh, dude, that would be so sick. Oh, I remember the days of the Terrarian and the yo-yo bag, dude. Oh, that stuff was just OP as hell. It really was, wasn't it? It was actually kind of manic. Uh, but, yeah, there we are. We've already got a counterweight back at base. Uh, ooh. Strange brew. Does it have, like, the default cooldown timer? Uh, yeah. 45 seconds with the Charm of Myths. Okay. Interesting. Now you want to go, do you? Go on. Get out of here. You stupid enchanted sword. Oh, oh. I just absolutely freaking mangled that dude. <laughs> hey, there's titanium right there. You know what? If we're eventually going to be making the frost armor, we're going to need to start, you know, gearing ourselves up with the titanium supplies again, eh? Can you even get crystal shards in underground desert hallowed biomes? Is that even a thing? I have a feeling maybe not, but I kind of want to confirm it because I'm not like 100% sure. Uh, yeah, it's not looking very good, is it? Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, get wrecked, you freaking son of a gun. And that is the end of... Oh, there's a gem tree up there and a life crystal. Okay. I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. All right, Brandon, remind me, Budski, what can we make with all of this? We've got the crystal storm and the cheek. We've also got crystal blocks. Ooh, that's kind of cool. There's the crystal bonnets. There's the crystal darts. We've got the face sabers, of course, the magical harp, which, of course, requires us to take down the twins. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could, in fact, make this. But honestly, I might go ahead and try a hallowed mimic. OK, I'm going to try a hallowed mimic. We're going to see what we can do with that kind of thing. We're going to see what we can do with that dude and see just what kind of thing he drops, question mark. Because I wouldn't mind having a Daedalus Stormbow. I mean, it may have been nerfed a little bit, but it's still got to be fairly all right. 
Right? It's gotta be, surely. All right, and boop. Yep, that'll do the job real nicely. Hey, hallowed mimic. Hey, how's it going? 7,000 health, huh? Oh, that's a good thing. When you melee those guys... Oh, whoa. Okay, when you go ahead and melee those guys, it doesn't even... Man, the damage from the titanium armor is immense. I love it. Hey, careful. Careful. Don't get too ahead of yourself there, Python. Come on. Come on. Ah, here we go. Right, now we've got some time to... Oh, son of a gun. Ah! Now we've got some time to take out some other dudes. There we are. And... Damage! Flying knife is what we managed to get there. Okay. I mean, eh. Whoa, oh, whoa. Huh. I've never really considered this like a very good weapon, if I'm being honest with you. Just throws a controllable flying knife. I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe with the right loadout, you can find some sort of... Yeah, the damage is just a little bit too low, man. Now, I've got to be honest, I've got absolutely no idea on, like, how to go into this fight. So, yeah, we're just going to sort of do it. And see what happens, basically. I mean, that's pretty much all I do with uh, first-time boss fights, right? You go back in any of my other series, I just sort of go into it with a lot of buffs and a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, hey, son of a... Get out of here! You don't get to do that to me, man. You don't get to freaking kill me, you son of a gun. All right, we will take a pizza for the major improvements to stats. Eight-minute duration. Very, very nice. Uh, shine potion, regen potion. I mean, to be honest, is the fight going to last more than eight minutes? All right, am I overpowered for this? I've got absolutely no idea. Guys, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? We're going to put the stinger necklace on. Wait, you can't put that in your social slot? How stupid is that? Dude, they need to remove that. In my opinion, they really need to remove that. The fact that some accessories cannot be put in your social slot, I don't like that, man. It should either be all of them should be able to put in there or none of them should be able to put in there, you know? All right, buffing up massively. And no. Are you seriously telling me you can only summon at night? Bro. Ah, oh, even going to sleep and skipping time by five times the normal rate. That's still going to take a good minute or so before we get to night time, bro. Ah, oh, man. Well, the good news is we're pretty fast approaching 7.30, which of course is when it ticks over to night time. So, oh, I just realized we've got like a sharpening station and all sorts of other things to use as well, right? Uh, right. So there's the sharpening station. Uh, do we still have an ammo box? Ammo box, ammo box. Yep, there it is. Uh, I'd very much like to put that down. There we are. Oh my god, we are buffed up unbelievably so, ladies and gentlemen. I'll oh, screw you, Terraria. You know, what? Okay, okay. It has to be the hallow, then. It simply has to be the hallow. Surely. Boom. Yeah, there it is. God damn it, man! Again, I wish I knew that. Oh, hello. There she is. 28,000 health. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. She's a bit fast. Okay. Hey, how's it going? I mean, so far, so good? Question mark? I'm not really noticing too much of any uh, difficulties here. Doing a good amount of damage here. Those gastropods are not really doing us any favors here. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's all about the dodging here? Question mark? So far, the crystal darts are actually kind of nice. All right, let's get those uh, other remaining buffs on here. Aha! Okay, and a little bit of health for Le Pythonator. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I mean, that's doing all right. The dart rifle is definitely not too bad. Not can play too much about it. Come on. Yeah, man, the damage is unreal, actually. Very, very nice. <laughs> come up, come up. If we can do this first time, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know the dealio. You have to drop a like rating, okay? All right. If, is there going to be a second phase? Is that going to be a thing? I feel like... Oh, God, she's flying now. Well, that isn't very cool, is it? Oh, God. All right. Uh, let's use this thing for a bit. Come on. I just want the damage at this point. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? You like you like flying, huh? I could do that too. Kind of. Oh god. More health, please. Thanks. There we are. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, you're really going for it. Oh, God. Hey, a shackle. Nice. I don't even know if I'm hitting her half the time. There's like freaking 7,000 slimes around me at any one point. So, something to bear in mind, I guess. Okay. You know what? Maybe this thing will do the job a little bit. I don't know. Please tell me she doesn't go enraged when you go out the biome. Wait. A health. A health. Big rip. A health. Ah! Don't take full damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You can't. Oh, you can't even back and forth her very well because of the freaking slimes, bro. What the hell? Crystal slime. Regal gel. Hmm. I wonder. Does the royal gel accessory work against queen slime? Hmm. Now there's a question. Huh. Bloody tear. Summons the blood moon. Well, okay. Thank you very much indeed for that one. All right, so we can now summon in our own blood moons if we so wish. For example, I don't know, doing a little bit of blood moon fishing and stuff like that. Can't really complain too much about it, I guess. Okay, I've actually got a different question. The Onyx Blaster plus Crystal Bullets. Would that be a good way to go? I mean, this thing, it is fairly slow. But I'm wondering if it would actually be worthwhile trying to make crystal bullets for it. And then we just get ourselves an absolute crap ton of damage, right? Ooh. I mean, you never know until you try, right? Uh-huh. Hey, more goldy doodles. Thanks. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, the royal gel accessory does not make Queen Slimes' uh, minions, you know, docile. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that's not something that will work. Darn it, Terraria! You, you thought too well about this, didn't you? <laughs> if you give me another freaking event in a row, I'm gonna freaking flip. Don't do it! There we are. Thanks! Thanks a lot! <laughs> now I can actually do stuff again! Alright! Crystal Bullets! Wait, you get a hundred per time now? What? I swear you only used to get 70. Wow, that's like a really freaking good rate of investment there. Dude. <laughs> oh man, we got about 2,000 crystal bullets. Mate, that, that is the way to go. So, let's go ahead and check this out. Do we have like a whole bunch of pearl stone? There's the pearl stone. All right. So, we should be able to make ourselves a bit of a pearl farm uh, down near the underworld. And then that will hopefully give us a supply of the beautiful shards that we're looking for. And also, of course, the gelatin crystals. It will be very, very nice if we can make ourselves like a bit of a direct access route through here. So, that is exactly what we're going to go and do. Let's make a little bit of a door here. And here we go. So, some of you guys might be wondering, well, Python, why don't you just go ahead and make the crystal farm like right next to these dudes? Well, I I don't want them to die from freaking dudes who teleport in because, yeah, they do that, don't they? There we are. So the idea is we'll be able to get crystals on the bottom left and top and then the same on this one. So we're going to be able to have like loads and loads of crystals and then we've got little walkways as well. So yeah, two block gap, three block gap, two, three, two, three, etc, etc. Well, is this going to be enough to make any kind of dent in terms of trying to get ourselves one of those gelatin crystals? I mean, I've, I've literally got no idea. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you guys. <sighs> I guess we'll figure that out as we go along here, huh? Well, I mean, so far, uh, nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually know just how long it takes for crystal shards to start spawning in. But, I mean, I can't imagine it'll be too long, right? I mean, if we just, like, not think about it, then maybe it won't seem like too bad of a wait. Hmm. Okay, well, let's head back to the actual underground hollow. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we just get lucky again. I mean, it's possible, I guess. Apple pie? What? Oh, dude, I could actually eat an apple pie right now in real life. It has been a freaking age since I've had one of those bad boys. Apple pie with custard? Hot, steamy custard? Come on, dude. Isn't that one of life's major greats? Hmm? Oh, God. I'm getting hungry now. Whoa! Sturdy fossils. Souls of light. Ooh, it's getting there. All right. I mean, there still seems to be plenty of crystal shards around. But I don't know, man. I think I really did just get lucky with that one thing. Oh, God. That's a lava trap. 
Oh boy! Oh come on! I'm just trying to find gelatin crystals! Ah, dude, the dune splices, man. I always forget just how incredibly annoying they are. Am I the only one? Uh, I just get into hard mode and I just get obliterated by them all the dang time. Ooh, armor polish. Well, that's one thing we didn't have before. Cool. So check it out, guys. We're actually building up a bit of a supply of the Ank Charm accessories here. The question is whether or not we're going to be able to combine any of them yet. Uh, no. Okay, well, that's kind of a big rip right there. All right, well, yeah, we've got four out of... Is it nine? I can't remember if it's seven, eight, or nine accessories you need for the Ank Charm. It's it's basically a lot, but it's a pretty good accessory to get if you manage to get it. So, yeah. All right. So, one thing I do kind of want to try and do is maybe try and get myself the Ranger Emblem. Because if I get a Ranger Emblem and I combine it with the Onyx Blaster here, combined with the freaking Crystal Bullets... Oh my god, are we going to be doing a lot of damage, dudes. Alright, so, uh, just how many of these guide voodoo dolls do we have? Two, three, four. Okay, okay, decent, decent. Alright, I mean, should we just sort of uh, do this thing? And yes, don't worry, I noticed all of them. I noticed them all, guys. Holy crap, look at that. Oh my god, look at how many there are. Firefly City up in this freaking piece. Look at that. They're all over the place. Fantastic. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, unfortunately, we don't have ourselves the bean aids this time, but we've got a whole bunch of very high-end weaponry. So I'm kind of hoping that that is going to do the job alone in terms of, well, you know, killing the wall of flesh and hopefully getting ourselves an emblem. I mean, in expert mode, I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed an emblem per wall of flesh down. So, I mean, it should be hopefully not that difficult. And we're at the edge of the world now. All right. Boop. There we go. And he comes. Yeah. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Try and aim at the eye there, buddy. Aim at the mouth and the eye. Oh my god, look at that health bar. <laughs> that health bar is going down real quick like... Wow. The Onyx Blaster, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it, it's 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 pretty damn good, isn't it? I mean, I don't know what else to say. I haven't even lost any freaking health yet, bro. It's just freaking craziness. It's just craziness, I'm telling you. Oh my god. I love this. What a combo this is, man. What a freaking combo. Come on. Keep it going. Here we go. Are you seeing the freaking DPS counter? A lot of the time it's going into the thousands, bro. Oh, and he's done. Wow. Rip. All right, what do we get? Another sorcerer emblem. Oh, and there he is. He's come right back inside the world to his inevitable demise. He's going to die immediately. I'm sorry there, uh, Levy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Onyx Blaster, guys. Just disgustingly powerful with the crystal bullets. I mean, need I say any more? Hey! We took that one down even quicker! Uh, summoner emblem and a breaker blade. Nope! Not what we're looking for, buddy. No plot! Oh, I'm sorry, Harley. Goodbye! <laughs> I am the most awful person in the entire world, aren't I? Let's just be honest here, guys. Hey! How's it going? Come on, what you got for me? There it is! Nice! You know what? The only other one we need, I do believe, is going to be... What? The warrior emblem, right? Marty the guide, huh? Well, again, you're gonna be meeting your untimely demise any minute now, but uh, I've got some titanium garnering duties to perform first. There we are. Fantastic. All right, back to it. Hey! There we are, my friends. The final one is done. And we got ourselves another ranger emblem. Okay, well, can't really complain too much about it. Did we drop anything? No, we didn't. Okay, we are good. Whoa. That's cool. Very strong knockback. That's probably the only... Wait. Deals more damage to unhurt enemies. Ah, I didn't know that. Apparently, it's uh, had a little bit of a buff. I mean, I knew about the strong knockback. That was, like, the only thing this weapon had going for it before. But now, yeah. Not too bad, eh? All right. Well, let's go ahead and maybe sell a bunch of stuff. We do not need... I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like it'll be a good idea to actually keep the emblems because, of course, we need to combine some of them later down the line, huh? So, yeah, definitely worth going ahead and doing that. Right, real quick, I'm going to go and put another gold chest down here. I will start putting some of these things away. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get, like, a menacing ranger emblem because then it'll be a grand total of 19% increased damage, right? And I don't know about you guys, but... Uh... That sounds like a very, very nice thing to have. You know what? Real quick, I do want to go ahead and just check on what we can make here. Okay, so it is still just the Avenger emblem, and then eventually you make it into, like, fire gauntlets or whatever the hell else, I guess. Uh, so, all right, cool. Real quick, I want to go ahead and reforge this, see if I can get menacing. We've got over two platinum coins at this point, so I feel like we should have a pretty good stab at doing this. Hey there, Buttski. Staten! Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Three gold? Wow, that's like nothing, isn't it? All right, we're looking for menacing. Let's get it. Warding? Oh, that is nice. Oh, it's going to hurt to get rid of that. But we're looking for menacing. Yeah. All right, so Onyx Blaster, 37 damage going up to 42. All right. Can't really complain too much about that. Uh, does it also increase bullet damage? Uh, it does. Wow, 11 to 13. So, 5 damage for this, 2 damage for the ammo. Hey, that's pretty dang good. So, there we are, my friends. That'll just about do it for today's episode. I think next episode, I'd really like to try and get myself some more of those gelatin crystals. It would be amazing if we could try out the Onyx Blaster with the Crystal Bullets against Queen Slime. I think we would do a way better job than we did today. But, I mean, guys, come on, cut me some slack. This was literally the first ever time I have ever tried to take on Queen Slime. So, of course, there's going to be some teething issues. But for now, guys, that'll wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.